G'day once again everybody, here's another classic drumming song, it's Killing in the Name by Rage Against the Machine. The start of this song is nice and easy. There's a guitar chord that rings out. And we're just gonna play a crash on beat one and fill in the rest of the beats on the hi-hats just like this. The bass comes in with the riff and we have that classic cowbell part. Now, if you don't have cowbells, you could definitely play it on the rims of your toms. If you play it on two different toms, you'll get two different sounds and that should still sound pretty good. This is how it goes. The pickup on the end of four with that flam takes us into our first beat that goes like this. We play through that beat for eight bars and then we have this great triplet fill that is another really classic element of this song. I'll play it for you now. We'll call the next section the verse and the drum beat is really straightforward. We've just got kick and snare, beat one, two, three, and four. Just that last bar again slowly. The lyrics come in, we're just going to add a sizzle on the end of four at the end of each bar, but basically it stays very similar to those first four bars. The next four bars of that verse section go like this. After that fill, the riff changes and the drums change just a tiny bit as well. Here's the next four bars. Next up we have these hits down on the floor tom with the snare drum, keeping the left foot going playing quarter notes if you can. Sounds like this.
Then we take those same hits and we turn them into a beat. I'll take it slowly for you so that you can grab it. Twice through those four bars, except for the very end where this fill will go instead. Now we hit the chorus where the groove is a bit busier on the drums, it sounds like this. From there we go back into the verse and we're going to play that just the same as we did the first time around except for this little run that goes on the bass and the guitar and the drums just chime in with a tiny little fill like this. That fill is the only thing that sticks out to me as being a bit different to the first time around. Other than that, we just go straight through the verse again, building up into the hits, playing the hits, and then going into the chorus. The chorus is nearly exactly the same, but we just throw in one of those extra little fills halfway through, just like this. Other than that little detail, the chorus is the same as the first time around. And so now we're up to the guitar solo, where we're going to use just the same groove as the chorus, but without as many crashes. If you were here to learn this next section, I am sorry to disappoint because I did not transcribe this crazy wild bit where everything just washes out. We have heaps of cymbal rolls going on, a bunch of quick singles on the snare drum and both feet kind of going. I'll show you something that you might be able to play, but this is definitely not accurate to the song. From there, we kick back into our chorus groove again, and then that groove becomes like a riffy outro section, and we're just gonna use the same drum beat once again. The only other thing that we need to look at is the very last fill of the song, and this is how it goes. And there we go, we've made it to the end of Killing in the Name by Rage Against the Machine. Hopefully this breakdown has given you a few different ideas so that eventually you can get up and jamming the song. 
happy practicing, and I'll see you at the next lesson.